Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we're going to talk about Fake Universe and yet another massive mega update here. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Epic Universe is really in the home stretch, stretch right now, as you can see from, from this aerial photo. I mean, lots of structures have been cleaned in Celestial Park and surrounding lands. And yeah, I cannot wait till this thing opens just under or just a little bit over a year from now. Let's go start with Celestial Park and the carousel, Constellation Carousel has a nice blue sheathing or blue uh, blue surface finish and its future lake area as well as supports and uh the dome installed at the top of the ride as well the entrance to the whole park is shaping up quite nicely you have a little half crescent moon almost looks like the eclipse that was said uh, fi um filmed today is over in the uh, center there and the portal still wetting its chronos type supports Moving on over to Dark Universe. The village looks absolutely stunning and completely done. Um, look at those beautiful facades. And there's the Curse of the Werewolf Coaster right over there, peeking over from the left-hand side. The aerial photos of the Dark Universe look fantastic as well. Number four, we have Curse of the Werewolf. Number one, we have the entrance, the portal entrance. Two, Darkmoor Village. And three is the Manor Attraction, Monsters Unchained. And they all just look completely gorgeous. Taking a look at the Dark Universe, still waiting on that topper for the mansion. That'll be the grand finale final piece. The rest of it looks to be just about done, except for the windows that are currently covered in white. Looking at the Stella Nova or Terra Luna hotels here. This is perfect because today was a solar eclipse and this is a space hotel. And the Terra Luna facade is wrapping around the courtyard just on every level except first and second. Curious. First and second level will have these same colors or different colors. We'll have to see when it's totally done. Looking at the Grand Helios Hotel, you can see some more facade work is happening on all sides, including the yellow sheathing right there, which will provide, provide facade work on the left-hand side. Taking, taking a closer look at the roof levels of the Grand Helios Hotel with what looks to be potentially a ballroom at the top over here. Those really big floor-to-ceiling windows will, will provide great views for fireworks and great views of the park in general. Over here, the dome of the Grand Helios Hotel is finally being covered in with two big metal pieces. Metal pieces that will wrap around the entire dome and then will get its official facade later on in the process. And last look at the uh, Terra Luna Hotel and its pool. This pool that is supposed to, I think, look like a moon, but it really looks like Miss Pac-Man to me. <laughs> looks fantastic. These hotels will be opened up early next year. Reservations are available for, I believe, I think it was January 21st or February 21st, 2025. Moving over to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. All the facades are just about done and the scalping is coming down and more. Our artwork is being added to the facades. Usually these uh, seemed a bit plain before, but now each, each each facade is getting some nice little artwork, which is quite nice. And looks like even some work is happening on the ground level at the on the footpaths as well. Looking at a more aerial shot of the uh, area, you can see the quad uh, the quadra section quadra section. I like that intersection of about four to five streets there with the the Arc Day Triumph as well as the entrance. This, again, will host a major e-ticket attraction and a circuit show with plenty of shops and plenty of new wand experiences as well. Moving over to the How to Train Your Dragon area, you can see here's Fire Drill. Fire Drill is looking all good, even has some water in it, and there's a whole bunch of supports for uh, those eventual 2D figures that you'll be shooting at during the attraction. At the number four will be um, a nice little uh, prop, and uh, number one, one is the, I believe that is the Spitfire Grill. And two is looks like an area for the queue for the maybe the theater show. And then number three down there is near Mead Hall. So this should be a pretty cool land. Universal just revealed official um, details for this new land. I'll link that video up below. We broke it down and it looks pretty, pretty cool. Here's the front of the How to Train Your Dragon Isle of Burke land at the portal here. And you can see there are the dragon sheep near the coaster. And there's the portal decal being installed in front. And over here, here's the uh, How to Train Your Dragon and the Wing Gliders uh, train testing the roller coaster train. This is the last roller coaster train to be revealed. It looks absolutely fantastic. 
and it's coming into are going to its station right now and there's some wooden fence theming um to block out the maintenance bay and view some other attractions in the land and then up front is the netting and first hill of the first official launch for the roller coaster this roller coaster will have a 40 inch high requirement and go a top speed of 45 miles per hour so it's basically like kind of like space mountain revenge of the mummy type levels in here some more a more overhead shot of the landscaping happening around the Isle of Burke area in Mead Hall, the theater, and all of the attractions, as well as some Celestial Park and Starfall Racers. Lots of greenery, and the greenery and the landscaping is usually the final step to these lands before they're all complete and ready to go. That's we see plenty of coaster testing going on, and hopefully we'll be getting an opening date by this summer for uh, Epic Universe, because tickets will be going on sale later on this year. Now let's head on over to Super Nintendo World. Looking over the Mushroom Kingdom, here's Yoshi's Adventure, all testing and ready to go. Still um, another warp pipe to be installed uh, leading into the Yoshi sh uh, show scene, but Mount Beepal looks fully complete. Over at Donkey Kong Country, that numbers 2 and 3 will be theming elements for the roller coaster. And number 1 is the launch section segment for the roller coaster, and there'll be a barrel, a themed barrel that you'll launch um, through on the top uh, chart over there. Here are more elements of the Donkey Kong Mini Land right here. Looking absolutely fantastic with the temple theming facade as well. And it looks absolutely fantastic. They'll have mini games. Again, another golden power band plus Donkey Kong power bands as well. And plenty of themed merchandise and plenty of food here and Super Nintendo World for your enjoyment. Over to the left hand side, you can see the themed barrel that you'll be the coaster trains will be launching through. And this coaster has been testing on and on and on. On and over and over again, which is fantastic. It'll be opening up in Japan this May potentially, so we'll be seeing a full POV of this ride and what to expect here at Epic Universe in just a year or two. That is gonna that is gonna do it for this very quick Epic Universe update. Yeah, as the park finishes up, there'll be uh, fewer and fewer new details, except for tiny things and props will be added on, and of course, uh, stuff added inside the rides as well. So these updates I expect will get shorter and shorter, but not not be as long as before. Because especially things like the Wizarding World, it's kind of all indoors and all done, except for some small elements. So yeah, that's why this one seems a bit short and a bit quick today. But nevertheless, I'll keep providing updates on this project until um, this thing is open next year, which would be fantastic, or at least until the previews happen. And of course, we'll provide updates on the Florida projects and plenty of Walt Disney World projects that will be happening here and at Disneyland that are rumored and could start construction in the next year or two. That is going to do it again for this update. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button and subscribe for more Think Park updates. And if you want to contribute to this, press that join button to become a YouTube member for early access to videos like these, as well as a rumor podcast that I do. Uh, which is episode two featuring Disney rumors and episode three will be universal rumors. So stay tuned for that. You can also contribute to the channel by clicking on that Patreon, following my Patreon, patreon.com slash club 722 to get free pins giveaways, and other exclusive merchandise like per uh, exclusive per perks like permits and more. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and guess what? Everything is epic out here.